Rock, verify range, go. Range green. First stage tank pressing up. Um, I think starting a rocket company is, is an unusual thing to do and, and, and pretty risky. But uh, I, I'm a big believer in, in us becoming a space sparing civilization and ultimately extending life beyond Earth. Um, when I was in college, I, I tried to think, what are the really big problems that face the world? That, that which will most affect the future of humanity. And <clears throat> the, the, the three that, that uh, I thought were the most important were the internet, um, uh, transition to a sustainable energy economy, and the third was uh, space exploration, in, in particular, uh, becoming, uh, ma making life multi-planetary. You know, there are American heroes who don't like this idea. Neil Armstrong, Gene Cernan have both testified against commercial space flight in the way that you're developing it, and I wonder what you think of that. I was very sad to see that, um, because those guys are, yeah. You know, those guys are heroes of mine, so it's really tough. You know, I, I wish they would come and visit and, and see the hardware that we're doing here. And, and I think that would change their mind. They inspired you to do this, didn't they? Yes. And to see them casting stones in your direction. It's difficult. Did you expect them to cheer you on? So they're hoping they would. What are you trying to prove to them? What I'm trying to do is, is to make a, a significant difference in, in spaceflight and, and, and help make spaceflight accessible to, to almost anyone. A SpaceX rocket exploding on the launch pad Thursday. The massive fireball swallowing it whole in a matter of seconds. A series of explosions and massive plumes of thick, billowing smoke. The most difficult choices I've ever faced uh, in life was was in 2008, um, and um, I think I had uh, like a, maybe 30 million dollars left, or 30 or 40 million dollars left in 2008. And I had two choices: I could put it all into one company, and then the other company would definitely die, um, or split it between the two companies. And but if I split it between the two companies, then both might die. And so it's like, which one am I going to let one starve to death? I can bring myself to do it, so I, put, I, I split the money between the two. Fortunately, thank goodness, uh, they both came through. Your biggest failure, and how did it change you? Well, there's a ton of failures along the way, that's for sure. Um, like, so for, as, as I said, for, for SpaceX, the first three launches failed. And uh, we, we, we were just barely able to scrape together enough parts and, and money to do the, the fourth launch. If that fourth launch had failed, we would have been dead. So multiple failures along the way. Um, I, I tried very hard to, to get the right expertise in for, for SpaceX. I tried hard to, to find a great uh, chief engineer for the rocket, but it, not, the good chief engineers wouldn't join, and the bad ones, well, there was no no point in hiring them. So I ended up being chief engineer of the rocket. Um, so if I could have found somebody better, then we would have maybe had less than three failures. Third failure in a row? Mm -hmm. Did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, So many people tried to talk me out of starting a ride company, it was, it was crazy. One good friend of mine collected a whole series of videos of rockets blowing up and made me watch those. He just didn't want me to lose all my money. We're doing these things that uh, seem unlikely to succeed and we've been fortunate and at least thus far they have succeeded.